These are our other two sows. Here in the front is Wilma. She's a purebred Berkshire sow. She's a little bit younger than the other two by a couple months. And it took her a long time to kind of get up to weight. And even now she's still a bit smaller than the other two. But she is a full Berkshire, so they don't get as big as some other breeds. Still a nice big pig, but just not as big as the other two. Not as long, I should say. She's as heavy as them. She's just not quite as long. Um, this is Salty. She's the mama that farrowed a couple months ago. She's doing really well. Weaning went really smoothly with her, and she's dried up good. She's went into heat once, so we're waiting probably for her next cycle when we'll breed her again. And we bred Wilma, the little girl in the back here. We bred her on Valentine's Day, so she'll be due early June. And she hasn't went back into heat again, so I think she caught. So that's good. This is the baby we kept back from Salty. We've named him Donald because of his orange tuft of hair on his back. <laughs> he's becoming a friendly little guy, but he is a porker. Holy, he's a chunky dude. He would be around nine weeks old now. So he's definitely gaining weight really well and he's eating good. And he's in his little weaning pen here. Once the ground thaws out and we get real spring, he'll go in the electric fence. And we'll be keeping Hopefully quite a few back from Peppa's litter when she has them and when they're weaned. Um, some people are buying wiener pigs from her and some of them we're keeping back to feed through the season up to butcher weight for people. But this is the guy we're keeping. So later today I will do another update. I will make sure that I'm checking on her often and I'll give you guys a completed video at the end of all this just like I did with Salty. I have a company coming over to help me with watching my daughter. My daughter's a toddler, so she can't really be out here helping me. So, yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Um, I'm guessing that she's probably going to have him tonight. Probably around like 7 o'clock-ish, I'm guessing. Just like her sister did, if she's anything like her. One of the signs of a pig being close to labor is getting an inflamed vulva. So you can tell hers is a little bit inflamed here. Um, another sign is that they go off a of feed. And so far, she hasn't ate her breakfast. Or she's been very picky about eating her breakfast. Hey, mama. She seems a little bit uncomfortable today. So I'm thinking labor might be imminent. Hey mama. Gonna have babies today? Hmm? Gonna have little piggies today? Good girl. Today's her due date. She's a guilt. She's never had babies before, so this will be her first time. Don't mind my pig in the background. It's my boar. He's whining that he's not being fed yet. So yeah, she's kind of looking at her food, but not super interested, eating a little bit, but definitely not her usual appetite, so that's a big sign for me. Her sister, Salty, feraled a few weeks ago. She's now weaned her babies. That's the last one we have. Um, but anyways, she did this the morning of the day that she delivered, this kind of not standing still kind of kicking at her belly, which Peppa's been doing this morning. She's not quite as apparent as Salty was, but I can tell that she's not quite herself. See that shifting her weight? That little sign right there tells me that she's getting close. Hey, Mama. So it actually ended up taking Peppa two full days after the initial video was taken to actually go into labor and start delivering her piglets. Here you can see Peppa has started really nesting, bringing straw and other materials into the barn in preparation for giving birth. I find this stage usually begins about 
six hours before they start delivering, in my experience, when they really, really start nesting heavily like this. I just had to pull this guy, a big guy. He was in there for an hour and nothing was happening. She was pushing really, really hard and straining hard for a long time, as hard as she could, and nothing was happening. So I had to pull him and he did not want to come out, but he's out now and he's healthy and he's alive. And that is what matters. So hopefully, if she has more, which I'm hoping she will, hopefully those ones won't get stuck. But I feel good that I was here to help that situation. Something that mother pigs will do after they've had babies is they will eat the placenta and the afterbirth. So this is what Peppa is doing here. And it might seem kind of gross, but I just wanted to show the realities of what happens with pigs after they have piglets. <laughs> 